In Western communities, Alzheimer's disease has increased and if left uncontrolled, the estimation of the prevalence may reach many millions of people worldwide. Healthy diets and the reversal of Alzheimer's disease has become important with the development of blood biomarkers that will allow early detection of neuroinflammation that is associated with accelerated amyloid beta plaque development in aging and Alzheimer's disease. Interactions between apolipoprotein E and amyloid beta and their relationship to nutriproteomics and neuron degeneration. Historical research that involves amyloid beta has been implicated with various proteins in brain amyloidosis and neurodegenerative disease. Proteomics provides novel information of two key peptides apolipoprotein E and amyloid beta that now has become important to cholesterol metabolism that determines longevity and lifespan. Nutriproteomics has now become important to Alzheimer's disease research since diet can modulate protein structure, membrane lipid interactions and protein folding. Diet and amyloid beta oligomycise has become important with amyloid beta self-association that leads to cell apoptosis. Interest in current proteomics has accelerated with the association between obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease and Alzheimer's disease that now involves the acute phase proteins that are linked to oxidative stress and inflammation. These acute phase proteins determine the benign and toxic states of amyloid beta oligomers in plasma that involve apolipoprotein E. Cell membrane proteomics are altered by cholesterol and fatty acids such as palmitic acid implicated in amyloid beta interactions. Phosphatidyl inositol makes up 1% of membrane lipids and has a net negative charge dependent on the phosphorylation, motif and inositol ring that are critical for membrane amyloid beta interactions. Unhealthy diets such as high fat and high cholesterol diets lead to increased acute phase proteins with stimulated association interactions that lead to the spontaneous A-beta aggregation linked to hydrophobic protein-protein interactions. Nutriproteomics with healthy diets allow rapid transport of brain amyloid beta from the brain to the periphery where the liver metabolizes monomeric amyloid beta rapidly. High fat cholesterol diets increase cholesterol and fatty acids in cells and decrease the metabolism of liver amyloid beta with increased toxic amyloid beta influx to the brain. In obesity and diabetes the blood-brain barrier disease corrupts the apolipoprotein E and amyloid beta mediated transport. Healthy diets by reducing acute phase proteins may stabilize the blood-brain barrier with improved transport of brain amyloid beta to the periphery with increased hepatic A beta metabolism. Inflammatory and increased oxidative stress conditions hepatic acute phase reactants and cytokines determine amyloid beta aggregation. Linked to inflammation and neurodegeneration are the low density lipoprotein and other receptors that control cholesterol transport and peripheral amyloid beta metabolism. Dietary intervention early in life that involve protein, carbohydrate, fat and cholesterol restriction with increased phosphatidyl nostril intake is important to maintain an active peripheral sink liver a beta clearance pathway to prevent brain amyloidosis. In conclusion, the regulation of membrane, lipid and protein traffic determine amyloid beta transport in the liver and the brain. Healthy diets have become important to drug therapy to maintain membrane, cholesterol and phosphatidyl inositol contents that determine the apolipoprotein E mediated clearance of amyloid beta from the brain for rapid metabolism to the liver. We acknowledge the Center for Learning and Development at Edith Cowan University, 
grants from the National Health and Medical Research Council of Australia, from the NIH, from the USA, and from various other university and Hollywood Hospital Research Foundations. Also to Bentham Science Publishers and the journal Current Proteomics.